Hello, beta testers. Marvel's Avengers. <laughs> Gotham Knights. Good, you're all caught up. It's gotta be rough these days for a Marvel or DC gamer that just wants something to ask their friends to play that they wouldn't have to be embarrassed by. But the crazy part is DC could remake the Arkham games right now and just enable co-op throughout the story or throw a survival mode in there. Allow Robin, allow Nightwing, Catwoman, all the people that we could play and it would probably outperform many games these days as far as quality is concerned. And it would print money. And even looking at it should bum anyone who played Gotham Knights out. Jesus. You know what's in the future? Insomniac Games is going to make a spiritual successor, multiplayer, co-op, of Marvel Ultimate Alliance 4. With multiple spider people, maybe even some X-Men. Who knows, man? And they could have a Genshin model where they occasionally dump some characters out. Here's a new region. Here's a new villain. And they'll be able to print money. Well, Rocksteady thinks that their $70 game can get away with a paid battle pass, a cash shop, a bunch of resources, bad UI, when Avengers and, and Halo Infinite are so fresh in people's minds. Did the brand save Halo Infinite's free-to-play butt, or were we teabagging the corpse of this universally despised studio? Just like actually looking at a successful game may tell you some things about its audience, looking at the free-to-play games would show you how much is available to the consumers, free of charge, and the high-quality offerings combined with fan representation, often in-game with characters, emotes, artwork, music. This is respect <laughs> for the fans willing to devote, promote, and wave the banner of these properties in an explosively financially beneficial way. For a time, people assumed that the hush hush on Sushiqua was because of Hogwarts Legacy's marketing cycle. You know, as they're gearing up for a launch. That time done now, brethren. Number one bestseller on Steam. Number one bestseller on PlayStation. Give it a few days. And the trans psychopaths will spaz them pre-orders on Xbox from the number two position bestseller right now up to number one. Rocksteady, you should have been bracing people for this live service battle pass backlash and distancing yourself from Avengers, Halo Infinite, any number of failed live services like Chocobo Racing or Babylon's Fall and, and right after Diablo Immortal too. Come on now with this ugly ass Harley in this G4 Velma fucking world we're living in. You didn't just need to compare to the sexy, artistic, and innovative free games available. You needed to outperform them to sell not just the game, but the battle pass and skins. How much you gonna charge for them skins? $10? $15? $20? If multiverses is anything to go by, if you're stupid enough to be less than a seven-year-old incarnation, if you're dumb enough to be less sexy than free-to-play games, less interested in pleasing the fans than even Hogwarts Legacy, then you won't make Hogwarts Legacy money rock steady. The reason that those pre-orders are through the roof is because of how much they've shown and how good it looks and how specifically it caters to the fans who may not even be gamers, but have read books and considered this to be the experience that they wanted to have. 20 years ago when you're looking at these old Harry Potter games, that's not something anybody's gonna be clamoring to buy, but this might as well be Harry Potter Skyrim. And because of what they've shown, they have secured the bag. Hogwarts comes with what I call a guarantee that even if it launches shit, it'll be wonderful the second that it starts functioning. Because look at it. You want a gamer insider secret? I happen to know most people buying Hogwarts Legacy, most people, don't need it to be more than a walk around the school, fly on my broom and hippogriff Harry Potter world simulator. You know that? Did you know that? 
But Rocksteady, <laughs> you've deliberately been silent and selective with what you release. And if you're hiding woke nonsense while hilariously offering even less than that woke ass Gotham Knights with its buggy clunky 20 FPS trash, then forgive us for interfering with your Jewish carpenter role play. Because our time for him is near to the cross. Interviews? Maybe, maybe some kind of artwork to show off? No. Some sexy skin showcases? No. Hints or teases, glimpses at other characters that may be coming to the game? Seven years. You had time to distance yourself from Marvel's Avengers and chose not to. The scrutiny is earned. Like, subscribe, leave a comment below telling me, can you believe it? Marvel's Avengers is back, baby, in DC form. Rocksteady didn't learn from WB Montreal with Gotham Knights, and Gotham Knights didn't learn from Crystal Dynamics with Marvel's Avengers, and Marvel's Avengers didn't learn a goddamn thing from the fucking cereal box that they must have got their fucking credentials out of. You know what I mean? Let me be explosively clear right now. Unless at the end of this game, Batman becomes a playable character and the game changed to Batman Squad. What? Ain't no way I get away with this, yes, dear. Wayne, or I'll destroy this tower and everything he stands for. They did it for other masks. Take your best shot, Tommy. That's Gross. that's incredible. That's you know what they say about evolution. Ooh. Even amoebas can do it. Purifying the gene pool. Even I don't know which side to root for now. Goodbye. It's been educational. I changed my mind. Kill, kill, kill. No, no, no! Not again! Can I have yeah. him, Daddy? Oh, please, 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 please. I'll take real good care of him. Anything to make you happy, princess. Just make sure people know he's yours. We don't want him to end up back here, do we? No, we don't, Daddy. I want to keep him forever. No, no, no please. Please, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> she used to be so dark back then, huh? I imagine Rocksteady now is just like a giant joke, you know? I'm not going to get any kick-ass sequences like this, are we? Because the story's going to be some kind of CW Avengers movie quip-filled abortion. But I am more than willing to be proven wrong, and in fact, I hope that somehow they present something to offset this. Cosmetics only is something we've heard before, and they couldn't even stick to that. You know? He's protecting himself with your ice gun. How do I get past it? Do I look like a fool? Why would I tell you that? Because I can get you your because suit Because if I can't get past it, I won't help you get your suit. Think about it, Victor. You don't look well. If you're gone, what will happen to Nora? Leave my wife out of this, Batman! That's my wife's name! Don't let this situation fool you. We are not friends. I'll rip that thing out of your fucking no. chest, bitch. Tell me who the friend is now, Today bitch. Today is not a good day to push me, Victor. It really Stop. ain't. I'll pour this shit right out right now. You got me There's fucked a, up. A security override chip I built into the suit to stop anyone using my weapons against me. How did that work out for you? Ooh. Why don't you Ooh. get it? <laughs> 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 it's been a pleasure. <laughs>